G'day, we've got Blake News for Friday the 17th of November and I'm Dave. Now hitting the headlines today is um, they're going to introduce fines for drivers that smoke in the cars while kids are in the cars. Now I'm getting sick of all this bloody do-gooder stuff, you know, introduce a fine for that, introduce a fine for this, all that crap that goes on. This needs to be engineered a little bit better I reckon and I think this is where stem cell research comes into it. Not that I know a lot about stem cell research, but wouldn't these people benefit from an injection of brain cells as opposed to a fine? There's got to be a better way to handle these things. Oh, how about just don't smoke in cars when the kids are in there, dickheads? Fair dinkum. Now, um, there's a G20 summit happening in Melbourne this weekend, which is one of those globalisation things. How can we make more profit for the big companies? How can those people with disgusting salaries of $25 million and more, um, you know, earn more money? Well, you know, good luck to them. Hope they have a good summit. But they're concerned about all the uh, international people jet-setting in classified as troublemakers. Well, hang on a second. If you're going to have an us and them and uh, some of these dudes earning the ridiculous amounts of money that they're earning... You've got to expect that sort of thing. Wow. I'm scared of someone waving a banner and holding a flag going, you earn more than me. Globalisation's wrong. I don't know. Who needs to get a life? Them or the protesters? I don't know. Macquarie Bank. The house of millionaires. This, this company just spits them out left, right and centre. Speaking of globalisation, they're making a shitload of money. Um, they're on a media frenzy. Get onto it, folks. Um, they're buying up Channel 10, 3AW, 2UE, radio stations, TV networks, all that sort of thing. Well, stick your hands in your pockets and put enough up for bloke news, I reckon. Somebody put a smile on my face anyway, wouldn't it? Um, now, uh, not sure how to approach this story. Yachtsman Tony Bullimore was pulled out of the ocean after his yacht overturned on a, on a solo around the world race about 10 years ago. Well, he headed back to Australia, you guessed it, by yacht, and he's lost. Well, he hasn't shown up at his destination, and they can't get hold of him. Now, like in case he actually has died on this adventure and that sort of stuff, you don't want to say anything bad. But I'm going to say it anyway. What a dickhead. You couldn't do it first time, so you're having another crack at it, and you're bloody going to cost the country millions of dollars again in some bloody rescue package over your selfishness about bloody wanting to be on a yacht and circumnavigate the globe and blah, blah, blah. Find a different hobby. Or learn to sail, one or the other. Sonia, what do you got? Dave, darling, when are you going to realise that the beautiful sunshiny weather we've been having lately is all because of you? You know why? Because the sun shines right out of your eye. Uh, oopsie daisy. Oh, so glad it's the end of the week. Now, the French, known for their romance and... Uh, yes, the city of dreams, I suppose, Paris and all that sort of stuff. Well, hey, they've got a new reputation for... Um, let's say stay stupidity. There's a thief who's uh, pinched a TV set, amongst other things, from a, from a place and uh, got home only to realise, oh, don't have the remote. Must be a lazy thief, because he's gone back to get the remote and he's been nabbed while the police were there. What a dickhead. This is Bloke News. I'm Dave.